So before we get started, today is the last day, and at 3 p.m. I'm going to be picking a winner for this magnet. So if you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. I'll give you the keyword right now. It's LPB to win this magnet. Today, Wednesday, is going to be the last day to win, uh, be entered. So direct message me on Instagram. Follow me at Holy Roller Guitars, and uh, you'll be entered for your chance to win. Take care. Hey everybody, welcome back to Holy Roller Guitars. Today we're going to be working on this Muso ES335 type guitar. Uh, today we're going to be talking about pickups for this guitar and about copper wrapping the bridge screws. So the first thing is I do have these uh, Seymour Duncan 59 pickups in here. So these were the ones where I did the pots. So this is a standard uh, one conductor for the bridge and then the neck pickup is a four conductor but with a standard pot so i wanted to ask y'all should i keep these since i already have them in here and put pickup covers on them and make them chrome covers or should i put the epiphone uh classics in here so i have the uh, the one on the right is the neck pickup and the one on the left is the bridge pickup so this actually came out of the epiphone es335 figured uh, that i got in 2021 so i was going to pop these in here but wanted to make this video give it like a week or two and then jump back on this guitar so let me know uh what y'all think about the pickups if i should leave them without the covers or what i was planning on doing is flipping this one so i can try that flip humbucker again and that way it has a cream on the outside and with the pickup rings, it'll look more or less like this. If I flip that uh, neck pickup, because you can see the screws are this way. Uh, I think with the uh, earlier ones that were zebra, they had it like this. So it's the opposite of you know, Slash's pickups. <laughs> uh, well, that's what I always say. It's supposed to be like that, but I like it better with the neck flipped. Not sure. Uh, the reason for me wanting to put the Epiphone pickups in here, though, is because Marty Shorts <laughs> um, released his guitar with these pickups, but they're four conductor instead of two. And uh, it does also have this flame top like his guitar. Um, but I was getting mine to look more like a like a deluxe version. So that's why I put these big square inlays and uh, do I'll do something with the headstock. At one point, I had it completely black and. I was like, no, I'm going to take that off. So it did come like this with this Gibson-ish kind of bell truss rod. Uh, but at least I didn't have anything like this one where it said Les Paul Standard on the Chipson. Um, so anyways, I do have this. I ordered this off of Amazon. So hopefully it has the both different types of uh, screws here uh, for the Standard and the Metric for humbucker pickups. But this is pretty cool set and looks kind of like a Telecaster with the magnet top on there. So moving on to the uh, saddle. Uh, this, I put like this uh, plumber's kind of tape on here, but I did see a YouTuber use this copper shielding. Um, so I'm gonna use the copper shielding for, for this. And I'll probably just put like one wrap of the copper shielding on here. These were loose before, they're, they're a little bit tighter now. Uh, but they were really loose before and I didn't like that. So uh, the YouTuber that I follow, I'll put a thumbnail here of his channel if I can find it again. But uh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to take off that and put this on there. So please let me know about the pickups. I just wanted to check in with y'all make a short video. So these are Mojo Tone 250K uh, pots here. I didn't misplace one of these speed knobs. Um, so I put that on there. So it's pretty different. <laughs> And then uh, this orange tip is a Gibson uh, control knob switcher. I did have a 335 also figured, I believe, and it did have the smaller uh, squares like it, like on the figured, on my figured ES-335. So it did look like this, but it was red and it was an Epiphone with the orange tip. Um, but yeah, just want to put this video out, leave it out for a week or two, and then figure out what I'm going to do with these pickups. I'm going to, for temporarily, I'm just going to put the screws on the pickups, uh, the pickup rings, and screw these in here for right now. And I think I need to find a different bridge uh, because this this one does rattle. And I think I showed you on Monday's video. It's, uh, 
it rattles. So um, I think it was on specifically on the B or the G string. Um, whenever you hit the the string, it'll go. So this is the one that was on the Chipson. And uh, I did try and push this retainer wire down, uh, but that didn't seem to help. So um, I want to order a new one. If not, take the one back off the Chipson and order a Faber bridge for the Chipson. So that way it kind of has that bridge type esque of a, of a Gibson um, so that's what I kind of want to do there but I may end up just leaving it the way that it is and seeing if I can find a used Epiphone uh, bridge or something or just even just putting this one back in there see if I can help that rattling so with all that being said thank you all very much for tuning in my daily advice for y'all uh, for this week has been to be doing something nice but uh, just as easy as smiling or waving hello to somebody when you're leaving the house or you're leaving work, anything like that, um, or introduce yourself to somebody from work or in your neighborhood if you see somebody, uh, introduce yourself and uh, you know try and make a new friend. So um, everyone take care, be safe. Please uh, help me out here because this uh, guitar has been without strings for a while and uh, I kind of just wanted to see what I should do about the pickups. Uh, but I will fix this and I'll show you a picture of that right now. Stay till the end and I'll show you how the copper showed the bridge grooves. With all that being said, God bless y'all. Take care. And uh, remember, love each other and uh, treat each other kindly. Peace and we love y'all. And the way I did this is with a Q-tip. So you can see I get in between the threads and then just wrap, a, wrap it around the toothpick and then grab it from there. And with the copper shielding, I think I'm just going to wrap it uh, one around or almost one around and then cut it short uh, before it gets up there and that's going to be it and see how that works so all i did here was press it with my fingers um so that way it's not just like um hanging on there and then we're gonna go ahead and put it back in here and see if that oh yeah that's a lot stronger oh, let me use this hand that's really good that's not moving anywhere and i believe this one is the same way i have that white tape on there i believe oh no or did i yeah i did um i'll try and get that out of there and then wrap this with the copper uh right now so again all i'm doing here is just picking it with the uh toothpick just trying to get all this out of here there you go. And I dropped the copper shielding and the FO, so now I gotta go and grab that. <laughs> Let's see if I can do it on camera. That way you can help me. There you go. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. There you go. That feels good. Okay. So. Now we're good on that end so now if you have that copper shielding and these are rattling now it's not even moving and that's going to create a more like metal to metal contact compared to putting something rubber in between here so yeah that should be good there and i'm just gonna go ahead and put these pickups back in right. place so we got the bridge on there and it's very solid so if anything's going to be moving it's going to be these i might try this and if it works great if not uh we'll just have to see uh but let me know have any of y'all played with nines on a semi hollow body uh, i was thinking about putting the nines on here for the shorter scale link i like to put the hybrid uh 10 and nines compared to just putting nines on a guitar i like to use nines on the fender guitars for the longer scale link just a just a question another question for the comment section Please let me know about the pickups and uh, I'll probably throw on some strings on here and get this guitar set up. And if I do get another bridge, that'll be a bonus. Thank you for tuning in. Remember, we're doing a giveaway at 500 subscribers. We're giving away a coffee mug and a C-130 sticker. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe and hit that bell notification. Thank you and God bless.